my BoxyCharm finally came in the mail. I'm like not that excited about opening it. I did try to choose things that would be a little bit more interesting for me, but I really don't feel like I had good options. And maybe that's just me. Maybe if you were to look through my choice options, you might find things that were really exciting for you. But for me personally, there was only like one thing that I was like really excited about. And then another thing that I was like, okay, I'm glad I have this because I was going to buy it anyways. Let's just go ahead and get into this boxy charm. Now I did have you guys vote on what you think I chose. I'm just going to keep it a buck with y'all. None of you chose right. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say none of you. There were some votes for the things that I actually chose. The overall consensus on the items that you thought I chose was wrong. Very, very wrong. Mine came a little disheveled, okay? A disheveled little piece of paper. I don't really see anything of super interest in here. It doesn't tell you how much, like the things you actually chose, actually. It doesn't really tell you how much a lot of these products are. Like there's a few prices on here, but honestly, this piece of paper is useless, okay? It's absolutely useless. I really wish they put some more safety features in the box. Like I would appreciate to have packing peanuts or some bubble wrap. They just kind of toss everything in the box. One of my power picks was the Deep Cleanser with Red Clay by First Aid Beauty. I have not tried this product. It's a little dirty. I don't know if you guys can see. It's a little dirty, dirty. Let me just brush that off a little bit. I was okay with this as an option. I do have a lot of cleansers that I'm already working through, but this one seemed a little bit interesting. Nice and safety sealed, which y'all know we love. Ooh, this smells good. All right, let's get back to our roots and rub in some cleanser. Put a little dupe right there, okay. When they said it had red clay in it, I don't know why, but I was expecting it to be a little thicker, but this is more like a really thin, serum-y kind of cleanser. And it smells so good. It has like kind of like a pepperminty, like a peppermint, spearmint type of scent to it which is really good. So I'm excited to try this out. It feels like it's gonna give your skin a nice little tingle. Kind of like, you know, the shampoos, like the head and shoulders. That's how it feels on my hand, but less intense. So yeah, very excited to try that out. All right, so the first product is really nice. The next power pick that they chose for me was the Kosas Cloud Set Baked Setting and Smoothing Powder. And this is what the packaging is looking like. They gave me the color Sheer Medium Tan. I think it should be okay. It's just like a finishing powder, so you're not going real heavy with it. The packaging is really cute though. You see the Kosas right on there and it's just, it's it's cute. Okay, it's giving preppy, all right? It's giving preppy skincare, preppy makeup vibes. And I believe Kosas is a clean beauty company. Ooh, you see that? That is so cool, okay. I put some right there on my hand. You really can't tell. I mean, it's just like a setting powder, so you're not really supposed to see it that much. But because it blended into my skin tone very well, that means it's gonna be a good match. So I'm excited to try this one out. I wasn't excited when I saw it at first. I was just like, Bleh. now that I have it in person, I am excited to try this product out. So the two power picks were really good. The next item, and this is the first one that was an actual choice of mine. And this is the one I was excited about because I've been wanting to try this, but never really had the opportunity. Well, I always have the opportunity to purchase it. But as far as like getting it in a box, I hadn't had the opportunity until now. But this is the Pop Mask Calm 5 Self Warming Calming Eye Mask. And I am super excited to try these out. I'm just like curious as to the warming sensation. I'm worried it's gonna burn my eyeballs. My eyeballs will, you know, pop out of my head because they've been cooked. I don't don't know. I am excited to try this out and see what it feels like. It says it warms up in 30 seconds and it can relieve migraines, tension headaches, dry eyes, and sleep problems. Now I got sleep problems, okay? And occasionally I get migraines. So if this will help me fall asleep, I will buy more, okay? Relax. <laughs> Relax is the fourth step, which I think is kind of fun. So I'm excited to try this out. We'll definitely bust this bad boy out during the next super extra skincare nighttime routine that you really shouldn't do, but I'm gonna do anyways because I'm filming videos, which I should have one coming up shortly. The next item that I chose for myself, now this was the product that I was like, I'm gonna buy anyways, so I might as well get it at a discounted price by having it in the box. And this is the Balance Me AHA Glow Mask with glycolic acid, 
Colleen Clay and Linden. I don't know what Linden is. It sounds like a name, but this is what it looks like. I was planning on buying more of this because I got two of these in Mystery Ipsies and I loved this face mask. It smells absolutely divine and my skin felt so good after using it. So I'm happy to have this. I wasn't excited to have it, but I was like, I was going to buy some anyway. So it's nice to have it in the box. Now, I was hoping that this will be a much bigger size. I mean, it is what it is. This is what? How many? 50 milliliters or 1.69 fluid ounces. So, I mean, you get a decent amount. It's a good mask, okay? It's a good mask. I was gonna purchase her anyway, so I'm glad to have her in the box so I don't gotta pay extra for her. And the final item that I chose, and the reason why I chose this was because, I mean, the other options just really weren't speaking to me. And honestly, this wasn't speaking to me either. I wanted to get more makeup. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hill Satin Lipstick in the color Taupe Beige. And this is what the product is, look well, not the product, but the box. So the box is looking like very, very pretty and bougie looking. And honestly, this bullet lipstick looks so pretty. I'm just happy to have her in my collection for how pretty she looks. Isn't that cute? Like I love the embossment right here with the name of the company. And then it has the cute little A at the top. And then this little, like, I don't know what to call these ridges, I think are so fun. Absolutely cute. Let's see. Ooh, and you get the, the A right on the inside as well. And let's see how much product you get. Just standard amount of lipstick. And this is what the color is looking like. I think that is so pretty. Just like a nice nudie kind of color for your girl. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty. I don't know why I put it in the most awkward spot possible. This is what the lipstick is looking like. It went on super smooth and it was buildable. Like if I wanted a flush of color, you just go over it one time. But if you want a deeper color, you just keep applying it and it builds really nicely. We won't really know how we like her until we put her on the lips. Now I got stuff on my lips. I don't feel like wiping it off, so I'm not going to. But during the next try on, we will give this bad boy a chance. See how we like her. I will do a try on once my glam bag gets here because I have more makeup in my glam bag. But y'all, that was everything in my BoxyCharm for the month of April. Having all the products here, I feel a little bit better about my box. When I was looking at her online, I was just like, meh. I wasn't super excited. I wasn't blown away by my choices. But having them in person, I feel a lot better about them. I hope you guys had a really good April box. They did say that the icon for next month is gonna be Patrick Star. I don't really know that much about Patrick Star or his brand One Size. The only thing I do know about his brand is the setting spray is supposed to be that girl. They used the setting spray on Beyonce. She was dancing in the rain and her makeup did not move. So I'm hoping that setting spray is in the choices. And if it's not in the choices, at least be in the, the add-on section. Cause I will add on that spray since, you know, it had Beyonce looking good in the rain. And I mean, it, I don't really wear my makeup in the rain, but it's good to have just in case you gonna be in the rain and you need your makeup to hold. I am excited for that icon box. I was gonna skip it, but then I was like, you know what? I I'm gonna just keep with the icon box cause they probably will have other really good products to choose from. You know, some of y'all in the comments said that you were excited about some of his products and things like that. So we'll see how the icon box is treating us. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fabe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.